Two things we see in the scriptures today which are important for us in terms of our heart posture as Christians. The first we hear in St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, where he says specifically, Jesus did not regard equality with God as something to be grasped. And this is an oblique reference to what happened with Adam and Eve in the garden. They tried to grasp at equality with God. And so this goes to show that we also are called not to grasp at what God has for us. It is not for us to try and control and manipulate. Rather, much like what we hear in the gospel, we are invited to a banquet. So we are recipients. We are the ones being invited to receive. And what we must do is basically show up. We have to show up. So we notice that what happens sometimes is that people, when they're invited to this great banquet, they get distracted by so many other things. And it could be, as we are all here on election day, we could be worried about something and so our hearts might be distracted even in the midst of sitting here. Or we could be concerned about different movements, different things going on in the church, different things going on in our country, different things going on in the state. So our heart posture is having to show up. That is, creating space, creating time for God here. Because this is the banquet of all banquets, where we receive Jesus in his body, blood, soul, and divinity. This goes to show what our heart posture is. One of attention and reception. Not that we think that we can grasp at equality with God. It is God who sanctifies us, not us by our grasping that become saints. I kind of liken it to going to Grandma's house. Grandma's house, you go in... And grandma is most likely willing to give you a slice of apple pie, but it would be rude to try and take it for yourself. Rather, grandma gets all the more delight having you sit down, cutting the pie for you and serving it to you and asking you, do you want whipped cream on top or ice cream? The same thing here with God, in a way. We can liken that image of grandma to God. Not that God pampers us completely, But rather, he is generous and he gives. And he has this great banquet in store for us, which contains every single blessing. But sometimes what happens is we get distracted. And so we ask the Lord this day for the grace that we might praise him in the assembly of his people by having our hearts fixed on what God has for us today, not just at this Mass, What banquet does God have prepared for us in seeing the rest of our day lived out?